Peak Network, a deep in purposed layer one blockchain that is built utilizing the Polkadot network is going to be what we're going to be talking about in this video. And this blockchain is already trusted by the likes of Bosch, Airbus, Continental, Gala X, and NTT. We're going to be talking about why that is in this video. This is probably one of the most bullish projects to come out of the Polkadot ecosystem and the cryptocurrency space at large. And we're going to be sharing with you guys why that is throughout this video. This is absolutely one not to miss. So strap yourselves in, guys. Let's dive in to Peak Network. And one thing that I want to start by highlighting is the recent migration of Map Metrics, which is a company or a project that is already partnered with the likes of Microsoft and Bing Maps. They have over 55,000 users uh, and devices in over 177 companies. Now, they recently migrated over to Peak Network, this purpose-built layer one blockchain um, that is custom designed for deep in and machine real world assets. These guys actually moved from Solana to Peak because it's just simply fit for what it is they are trying to do. Now, we are going to be explaining exactly what Peak is, and we're going to be going over to an article that was generated from Genfinity that actually does a deep dive on this project. We'll also, towards the end of the video, explain how you can actually get the Peak token, which is currently not available anywhere. However, if you do have their Parachain equivalent or their Kusama equivalent, Cress, you will be able to uh, transfer that or get airdrop the actual Peak Network token. Be careful out there, ladies and gentlemen. Lots of people claiming to be scammers. The best place to go is over to Peak Network's actual Twitter, which we'll leave a link for in the description. And of course, go through their official routes to find out more. But let's start things off by giving my kind of explanation in regards to what Peak Network actually is. So Peak Network, like I said at the start, is essentially a custom designed layer one utilizing the Polkadot infrastructure to enable DPIN, um, which stands for Decentralized Physical Infrastructure. So DPIN is this idea of through the power of a distributed ledger and a token being able to incentivize and actually run um, physical infrastructure that is decentralized. So what do I mean by that? Well, things like networks, for example, they often have uh, physical infrastructure that enables the network to be a network, you know, connect. Um, if you think about things like uh, data storage, if you think about things like cloud computing, you know, you need hardware for that. Peak Network is, is essentially is a blockchain um, that is custom built to make this easy for people to do. Uh, and this is absolutely huge. And actually, you see a lot of different deep in projects out there um, that are building. But the problem with these are, just like there is with blockchain, is they're often siloed in whatever ecosystem they're choosing to build on. And that's where Peak kind of steps in. It kind of breaks down those barriers and essentially says, look, if you build on this network, not only are you connected to the other deep in projects that are building on this network and thus you facilitate this kind of internet of things through it, but you're actually connected to the broader Polkadot ecosystem and actually further extended outside of that. So Peak is uh, the world's fastest growing deep in ecosystem. Tokenized machines and real world assets stand around about $24 million. And they have, as of right now, roughly 25 different deep in projects building on top of the peak network. Good kind of visual representation is, um, or, or what the future may look like and how peak may enable it, is actually what they published on their what would a deep in powered Dubai look like. And you can see this is very much the um, future in my opinion. This is the future that we're moving towards. And this is why I like peak network so much. So the internet of things, right now we're communicating of really the internet of information, the internet of people, and that's communication between us the Internet of Things is like an internet that basically connects machines, things, um, and they can communicate, they can learn, they can, you know, do whatever it is as a result of that. And you end up with this kind of futuristic world. IoT, the Internet of Things, is how this is enabled, and Peak Network could play a vital role in that. That's why I'm so unbelievably bullish on this project. We're going to dive into a sort of dive on exactly what Peak is in regards to the Genfinity article. But you can see this, you've got your 5G network that will be um, sort of ran off decentralized infrastructure. So that will be ran and maintained, obviously, through the uh, incentivization of a token and distributed ledger. You've got flight trackers, you've got weather trackers, solar energy, parking, 
EV charging, robot restaurants, Wi-Fi networks. You see the likes of Helium and others doing this. Uh, wind energy, vertical farms, street mapping in regards to, um, we just covered the migration of map metrics over to peak. Um, you've got things like delivery, ride sharing, air quality tracking, drone delivery, so on and so forth. You know, peak is potentially going to be a vital infrastructure in enabling this uh, future. And I thought this was a really cool schematic. We have shown other ones similar to this. Let's dive into a little bit of a deep dive in regards to what Peak Network actually is. And we're going to be going over to an article that was published by Genfinity. And I actually thought this was one of the best articles covering Peak Network. Um, it says, introducing Peak Blockchain, powering the decentralized economy of things. Let's dive into what Peak Network actually is. So Peak is a layer one blockchain optimizing for decentralized physical infrastructure networks, DPINs for short, and real world asset machines. Notably, it boasts a capacity to scale beyond 100,000 transactions per second. Remember, this is all leveraging the Polkadot ecosystem. The platform supports Inc, Rust, and EVM smart contracts, offering builders flexibility in their development. Additionally, Peak provides modular DPIN functions for essential core functionalities such as self-sovereign machine IDs and seamless machine payment processing. Moreover, the network seamlessly interacts with Polkadot and bridges to Ethereum, fostering a decentralized positive sum economy. By democratizing access to abundance, Peak ensures that the benefits generated by AI-powered machines are accessible to all, rather than being restricted to a privileged few. Through community-led governance, Peak encourages the development of apps owned by the community on a global decentralized network where value is created and distributed across various communities. So it goes on to talk about some of the cutting edge capabilities of Peak Network, such as the decentralization of it, and of course, the scalability that it currently has. Uh, so some of the revolutionary tech that is behind Peak Network's modular deep in uh, blockchain and, and, and functionalities. Additionally, Peak introduces modular deep in functions, offering pre-built tools to tokenize and empower various devices and machines across decentralized networks. This breakthrough technology democratizes access to a blockchain benefits, enabling the average user to leverage their devices and vehicles in new innovative ways. For instance, DPIN equipped vehicles can autonomously manage payments for tolls, parkings, and maintenance, streamlining operations and enhancing convenience. Similarly, DPIN enables devices to gain enhanced functionality and interoperability, opening doors to novel applications and business models. Consequently, by interacting blockchain seamlessly into everyday devices and vehicles, Peak Blockchain empowers users to participate in a decentralized economy effortlessly. The protocol is ushered in, ushering in a new era of connectivity and innovation. Significantly, Peak has curated a comprehensive array of deep in use cases, extending from operations on land to maritime ventures and even ventures into space. It goes on to talk about the economy of things. So EOT, uh, it's kind of the, it's really the same thing as the Internet of Things, I think. They're drawing a little bit of a, a difference between the two here, but I very much think they're, they're, they're one in the same thing. So the economy of things is the next stage of the Internet of Things where connected devices like vehicles and robots become not just informational hubs, but participants in a decentralized network economy. This means EOT leverages Web3 and AI to allow these things to act more like more independently, monetize their generated data and essentially transform from mere tools to economic actors in their own right. Goes on to talk about the peak token and how you can actually um, get your hands on it. So the peak token serves as a native utility token within the peak network and ecosystem, playing a pivotal role in what is termed the economy of things. Transaction fees incurred on the peak network are settled in the peak token, highlighting their integral role in the functionality transaction. Furthermore, peak token holders wield significant influence as they are empowered to participate in on-chain governance through voting on crucial network decisions. Additionally, staking the peak tokens allow users to contribute to the network security and integrity while also establishing a decentralized reputation and trust system of for machines. 
Overall, the Peak Network token grants holders various rights within the Peak ecosystem. These rights include the ability to engage in the network governance, validate transactions and influence subsidy allocations and network upgrades. So you can really get a feel of um, perhaps the future that we're moving towards. It is going to be one where we have the Internet of Things and uh, kind of the economy of things, if you will. Um, it's very interesting because the role of money itself with the rise of AI is going to be interesting. You know, what happens when AI displaces potentially billions of workers? You know, what does that new economy look like? And this is where we get into this very futuristic kind of vision of things. Um, regardless of whether that does or doesn't happen, the Internet of Things is coming. Um, and ultimately, something like Peak Network, something like a distributed ledger, I believe, is going to play a vital role in it. Um, and this is the real interesting thing and exciting thing about kind of blockchain and crypto to me is that it finds itself literally at the convergence of many different industries, whether that be the likes of identity with what Kilt are doing, whether that be the likes of the Internet of Things like what Peak are doing or the uh, economy of things like what Peak are doing, whether that be the likes of finance, whether that be the likes of supply chains social medias, whatever that may be, you know, blockchain finds itself at the kind of forefront of everything. And actually it is the kind of missing piece to the puzzle of the internet of things. And I think that Peak Network actually stands a really good chance of uh, playing a vital role in that. Now you can't actually, I always get this question. I wish I had more answers for you guys, get your hands on the Peak Network token. Um, but they, as of yet, but they did release an update in regards to Peak Airdrop for Crest holders, how to double your rewards. Um, so it says, what is happening? All Crest holders eligible for the up and coming peak airdrop will have a chance to double their rewards by supporting Crest peak liquidity pools. So this is a, basically a bootstrap. Uh, but the initial peak airdrop phase, so there's a uh, million dollars worth of peak tokens. All Crest holders who have continuously held a minimum of 2,000 Crest tokens in a non-custodial wallet, substrate-based wallet are eligible for the airdrop. So this is one way essentially that you can, I'll leave a link to this in the description, get your hands on the Peak Network token. Um, there's a bonus airdrop for people that provide liquidity. You will be able to get your hands on Peak very soon, likely through some decentralized DEXs on Polkadot or decentralized liquidity pools on Polkadot. Once that's the case, this is my personal strategy for getting the Peak token. We will do a step-by-step -step guide in regards to how you can actually buy this token. Remember, we're not endorsing this token, but this is a, uh, a project that I think is very much going to play a role in the future that I know we're moving towards, which involves the Internet of Things and a kind of uh, economy of things, a kind of robotic, futuristic world. Uh, and honestly, Peak is really positioning themselves very well, already have great partnerships, people using them to actually play a vital role in that. On that note, guys, I'm gonna love and leave you. If you've enjoyed the content, like, appreciate it, so as a comment, let me know your thoughts on Peak Network, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next.